The humiliating exit from Sweden was hard to take for the England players. After all, they were ranked fourth and had been runners-up in the previous Euro Championship. Now, once the England coach Hope Powell returns from leave, an FA review will look at all aspects of the defeats to Spain and France and the draw against Russia, a game where Trevor Brooking didn't hold back with his half-time analysis. Today's performance is really very poor, flat, the soft goal, decision-making is poor, and uh, the, the, you know, the, the enthusiasm, the zest's not there. And Liverpool manager Matt Beard still can't believe his WSL top scorer Natasha Dowie was left at home. Natasha has been in great form for us this season. She's a top national goal scorer. She should have gone without a shadow of a doubt, you know, 10 goals in 12 games. And it would have been a good option for Hope to have off the bench, I think. Pre-tournament injuries to key England players took their toll, but in her column for the BBC, the Wales captain Jess Fishlock pointed to similar problems disrupting Germany's build-up. However, the Euro champions didn't risk their injured players and trusted the youngsters coming through, a philosophy Beard agrees with. It was always going to be difficult taking so many players that hadn't really been playing that were injured. I was surprised that it wasn't more rotation, maybe especially with the Russia game, and maybe save one or two of the senior players for, for the last game against France. The 19s won the Euros a few years ago. We've got some good kids coming through. Maybe it's a time for them now to, to maybe get some game time in the, in the senior team and, and see how they have progressed and developed. Because you've only got to look at Germany who won it. You know, they had lots of young players in that team and they've gone and won it because the coach trusted them. No one could have replaced Kelly Smith, one of the world's great players. Smith's brilliance took England to the Euro final against Germany four years ago. But the talismanic player was only just back from an injury that blunted her performance when called upon in Sweden. We need to find out why they all got injured. And I said, you know, prior to the break that the fixture congestion doesn't help. Now, we're quite fortunate enough that we've got the players in every day so we can manage the players with regards to their health and well-being. Whereas other clubs that aren't in every day, maybe in twice a week, they've, they've got a lot to get in within them sessions. It's the FA's aim to help other WSL clubs follow Liverpool's lead and begin to bridge the technical and fitness gap with the likes of Germany and the Scandinavian countries where many players train full-time. The next step forward for women's football in England. Sometimes with sportsmen and women, a, a different voice is needed, some new ideas, just a bit of fresh impetus. That's not to detract from the job Hope Powell has done. She's someone the FA is and should be very, very proud of. I don't know if there's a role for her maybe in a technical development role in the future to carry on the work she's done developing the women's game. But to me, just a new voice, somebody to get the best out of the players, somebody that they might listen to a little bit more.